So 2020, even though the headlines and the news flow has been dominated by everything pandemic related, let's not forget we started off with bushfires in Australia. We've had wildfires in the US, flooding in China, and now the US is also bracing for hurricane season. So, you know, in a situation like this, I'm wondering how your company and your technology can help. Yeah, first of all, great to be here. And, you know, climate change is something that we cannot necessarily prevent at this point. It's a trend that is happening. And one of the results of the climate change is really uh, the volatility of weather. The fact that we're seeing such extreme events, both in Australia and China, in basically every location around the globe. Now, uh, what Climsel is doing is really helping any organization better manage the weather-related challenges. Uh, one, we're trying to improve the uh, weather forecast by enabling uh, our models across the entire world and trying to really nail down in a very hyper-local, the weather. But the most important element is really that we've built a weather intelligence platform that takes that weather forecast and translates it to what it means to the business and what kind of actions the business should make. So while we can't really stop with climate change necessarily, what we're saying is that you can mitigate it and help prevent the damages that it brings on us. Right. So in order for your technology to be effective and, and for you to partner with, you know, and you've got some notable names amongst your partnership, but how much government assistance or government cooperation in terms of, you know, highly sensitive and secure telecommunications and wireless networks do you require? So actually not at all, uh, because really our core technology, basically our weather technology stack is comprised one from the sensing piece, but on the other hand, on the modeling piece. And even in places where proprietary data is not achievable, by looking at the publicly available data from satellites to whatnot uh, and running our own models in very high resolution, we can basically improve the weather forecast significantly. Um, so this is actually part of our key initiatives to be able to forecast globally. And that's something we can provide uh, you know, from, from day one on every place on the globe. Uh, obviously, the more data, the better. But we have other uh, stealth mode initiatives that uh, will supposed to help us over the next few years in terms of improving the sensing in many places. So tell us a little bit about your customers, because we have seen, of course, many of those names, including Delta or Uber, being affected by the pandemic as well. So what's the demand been like? So uh, obviously, uh, weather is impacting so many industries. Some of the industries we focused on were uh, uh, aviation, sports and outdoor. These are really uh, uh, industries where uh, we've seen decline in the demand, obviously because of the business activity. But at the same time, we need to remember that it impacts almost everything. We're looking at the supply chain verticals from trucking to shipping to rail to railways. Uh, we understand that also on the on-demand side of things, for example, in India with Swiggy, a customer of us, um, weather is, is more important than ever. Just to give an example, in India, uh, during Cyclone Amphan, we've been helping one of our customers over there, Indigrid, a utility company. Uh, so uh, basically with our intelligence, what they were able to do is to understand exactly at what place and at what time to deploy the crews to avoid outages. Uh, you can imagine what uh, the consequences of outage during a lockdown period could mean for the uh, population. So you can really understand that the kind of business we've built is resilient. Maybe for a period of time, we'll see some decline in some verticals, but uh, in, in, in the rest of the time, we're going to see mostly increase in demand for our services and solutions. Where are you seeing the most growth in demand, regionally speaking, especially given that we continue to see these uh, changes because of climate change in different parts of the world? I would say supply chain and everything that I put under the bucket of infrastructure, every company that has a lot of assets across large geographies, uh, it can be uh, electricity poles, it can be lines, it can be railways, it can be uh, retail locations or, or wholesale locations, it doesn't really matter. Once you have a lot of assets across a big geography, you're basically exposed to the weather risk. Your people are exposed to that. So every infrastructure-related company is basically a potential customer uh, as they need to come up with a plan to protect their assets, to protect their people, and to be proactive about it. And we're seeing that many of the businesses are still reactive and the opportunity to tap into more uh, uh, new use cases is just incredible. 
Shimon, I'm curious, how much has the pandemic affected your partnerships and your customers? I'm thinking, obviously, the likes of Uber. Yeah, so uh, obviously some of the companies are big enough to sustain that storm. Even within the airlines, all of our airlines are operating uh, still on climate. So we haven't seen any uh, customer leaving us. Uh, I would say that in terms of acquiring new customers in uh, verticals such as aviation, no doubt uh, it is slow, but uh, we are trying to help these customers by coming up with innovative business models. Uh, in other verticals, we're seeing uh, actually uh, an increase in the demand, specifically on the supply chain uh, and, and, and within supply chain manufacturing and, and, and trucking, shipping and railways. These are the areas where we're seeing decline, uh, increase, I'm sorry. Uh, in other verticals, we're seeing actually uh, some slowdown, but it's not a, a decrease in the, uh, I would say, uh, demand. It's more of a general slowdown because business is just slowing down. Uh, but um, we're, we believe in, and we see that Q2 and Q3 are actually better than what we expected.